subscribe to our YouTube channel, and turn on notifications for the latest updates. Hurricane Laura continues to quickly intensify over the central Gulf of Mexico with a maximum sustained winds of 90 miles an hour and a minimum pressure all the way down to 978 millibars confirmed by Hurricane Hunter aircraft as of 10 p.m. Central Time this August 25th. The storm is currently located at 25.2 degrees north and 89.5 degrees west, a stage 6 on the CDPS scale. Major damage potential ongoing with this right now for the Louisiana-Texas border region where this could make landfall as likely a major hurricane according to the National Hurricane Center's forecast. They're calling for a peak of 120 miles per hour right now. Distance of miles from land right now, Port Arthur 366 in Texas, Galveston in Texas 374 miles away, Houston is 415 miles away, and in Louisiana, Lake Charles is 359 miles away, and Cameron in Louisiana is 342 miles away. Here are the warnings and effect hurricane related warnings from Her San Luis Pass, Texas to Intracoastal City, Louisiana, tropical storm warnings in effect from Sargent, Texas to San Luis Pass and east of Intracoastal City to the mouth of the Mississippi River. There's also a hurricane watch east of Intracoastal City as well. You'll see the graph for that later on. There's also numerous storm surge watches and warnings in place. Here's the GFS model showing the precipitation cloud cover. You can see the storm moving inland around the Texas-Louisiana border as a powerful storm. A Category 3 is expected right now, but people should be rushing preparation to completion right now and through the overnight hours for potential Category 4 storm. It's better always be overprepared than underprepared. After a landfall, this storm is expected to be a very significant rainmaker well inland as well and will move eastward across the United States before being ejected out across the eastern seaboard, potentially with tropical storm force sustained winds that time. Sea surface temperatures aren't going to be a hindrance for the storm as well. 30 degrees Celsius across the Gulf of Mexico where it's tracking throughout the next day or so before making landfall. The only potential hindrance really for significant intensification would be some more moderate wind shear in the last hours before landfall. Here's the wind model from the GFS. You can see the hurricane again making that landfall around the Texas-Louisiana border, pretty close to Houston, Galveston as well. Port Arthur is the closest major Texas city in regards to that, but a powerful hurricane indicated as landfall in even the GFS model, which sometimes lags behind in intensity. So the fact that it's showing that is definitely very concerning. Potential rainfall along that area is 10 to 15 inches as well with storm surge now upped again to 9 to 14 feet peak surge potential if it occurs at high tide. Chances tropical storm force winds look like this right now. Port Arthur is 92%, Galveston 72%, and Houston is 49%. The last two have gone down slightly, which is always fortunate, but still, they are under tropical storm and or hurricane warnings. Lake Charles is 97% odds, and Cameron in Louisiana as well, 98%, almost certain to get tropical storm and or hurricane conditions. Here's the latest track from the National Hurricane Center. You can see those warnings and watches laid out again from pretty much northeastern Texas coastline all the way through most of southern Louisiana's coastline. Hurricane warning, of course, where the landfall is expected and conditions will occur outside of that cone as well. Here's the storm, sur storm surge map again, that 9 to 14 feet peak expected for storm surge. The strongest surge will be east of the landfall location, so that's going to be very track dependent as well. Here's the rainfall map as well. You can see that 10 to 15 inches of rainfall expected on the coastline near where it's making landfall. A wider swath of 6 to 10 inches going way further inland. And again, another streak of it up all the way in Arkansas and extending much further inland as well. Here's the latest satellite imagery of the storm. You can see it gaining steam and stronger confirmed by Hurricane Hunter aircraft expected to become the first major hurricane of the year and potentially make a major hurricane landfall. We're live right now with our hurricane tracker covering the storm 24-7 and we'll have live commentary and more updates tomorrow. Stay tuned for more. On our outlets, force13.com for web articles and the live cyclone tracker. You can also find us here on YouTube if you're not watching here already. Make sure to subscribe. We're also on Facebook. It's Force13 to find our latest posts there. And we're also on Twitter. It's at Force13 to ask us a question on that platform. You can also help the project become even better by becoming a patron. More information can be found at patreon.com forward slash force13. Or you can become an ultimate fan right here on YouTube for perks and to directly support the project and our future endeavors in these times. You can also find us on Discord to communicate with us on our Discord server. Link is in the description below and you can message fool13 at extension 9094.